So before we build and test this gaming PC, I wanna go over each and every single part and let you know that this is quite literally the cheapest possible new quote unquote computer that you can actually build in 2025. So the first thing that I wanna go over is the RTX 5060. I do wanna quickly say that this is definitely gonna be more aimed at emulation. If you just plan on playing games at 1080p, this is going to be great for that. But because of the lack of VRAM on the RTX 5060, it only having eight gigabytes, you're not really gonna be able to get past 1080p gaming. You can absolutely enter 1440p if you want to tinker with the settings on, side of, on the computer and inside of the games and things of that nature. But just note that I am building this specifically for emulation. There is going to be a 12 terabyte hard drive that is on its way, but the motherboard, we got the Asus B650. This is a is a really good budget motherboard. It's going to support everything that we're gonna be using on this thing. I have some Trident Z RGB RAM. There's not gonna be much RGB going on. I did actually have some extra RGB fans for my actual case. I put three RGB fans. The CPU that we're gonna be using here is an AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. We're gonna be using a Samsung SSD. It's nothing super special. That's where our operating system and a few of the emulators that I'm gonna be installing on this thing are gonna be running from just because I want an SSD to have that kind of stuff. And then the hard drive is gonna have that full library of games. Now, while I do understand there are some less expensive power supplies on Amazon, please do not get something this, the power supply inside of a computer, I, this is something that people really overlook, but it is so important for your computer. Like everything inside of it is powered by it. Everything inside of it is connected to it. So when you get something that does not have this 80 plus bronze and a, a company that does this all the time is Apivia. They have extremely low end power supplies that you might think you're getting a good deal on, but because it does not have that, if you have anything happen to your circuit, even if you have one of the surge protecting circuits, you're putting your entire computer at risk. So this is pretty much the, the bottom of the barrel that you should go when you're getting a power supply. So for the CPU cooler, we're gonna be getting, or we're gonna be using the Dark Rock Elite from Be Quiet. I absolutely love Be Quiet. They're, they're an incredible company. They make some really good products for an extremely good price. I'm definitely building this more for emulation and things of that nature, just because this little mini PC that I have right here is, is incredible for everything up to the PS3 and Switch. But the, the big problem with this is I grew up playing the Xbox. And those emulators are very unoptimized. It's the, the Xbox and the Xbox 360, it's very hard for a mini PC to run those. And it's just, it's not enough for that. And there's some Xbox titles that I want to play. So that is why I'm gonna be building a dedicated computer for that. You know what? I was actually just going to re-record this PC build because I made a freaking newbie mistake and ordered a case that this motherboard right here will actually not fit in so i figured hey what the heck might as well remind people that when you're buying a pc case make sure if you have a quote unquote normal size motherboard or in other words an atx motherboard that you actually get a mid tower case i just barely ordered a new be quiet case it's going to be here tomorrow so what i'm going to show you is this is what you need to look out for when you're buying a case i'm just an i'm an absolute idiot and just completely forgot to do this so this right here says atx mid tower case and then if i come back here to the case that i ended up getting this is a micro atx case so yeah i'm just a complete idiot so price of this pc is going to increase 10 bucks but Whatever, and this is what I have to do for you guys. You see how, see how awesome I am to move my camera all the way around for you to record PC builds. I'm such a wonderful human being. <laughs> More than one day worth of files being transferred. I've heard a lot of people saying that the Kinhank 12 terabyte drive has failed on them. So what I ended up doing is I got a Kingston, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, Seagate. 12 terabyte hard drive and I'm transferring everything from that hard drive inside or everything from that external hard drive to a, a hard drive inside but oh my goodness 
Oh my goodness. We do have one file transferred though, which is pretty sweet, right? I feel like an absolute genius right now. I've been here for 20 minutes and this is how you remove the side panel. Are you ready? Nice. Look at that. After 20 minutes of unscrewing like 20 different screws and fiddle faddling and removing the front panel and just attempting to figure that out, there's a button. I already know that I'm gonna get comments on the NVMe and RAM that I ended up using in this thing. So we are going to replace the RAM and NVMe with some very cheap team group. This is only 16 giggle bytes of RAM here. It's running at 4,800 megahertz. And then we're also gonna be putting in a crucial uh, one terabyte NVMe. And I do wanna say something right now. I do understand that there are some cheaper options when it comes to getting stuff, okay? But I built this computer for longevity. I built this computer so that the people who are building it and using it actually enjoy it, okay? I didn't want to recommend a bunch of garbage parts that are gonna give people a ton of headaches and it's gonna be a nightmare using and then you're gonna have to upgrade this thing within a year from now, okay? So, while I do understand there are some cheaper options, man, like a power supply, as an example, I don't, I just, I can't, I can't recommend stuff that I um, would not, like, actually use myself, okay? It's, it's probably, I want to say it's probably, like, twice as fast, maybe, maybe three times, you can see that booted super quick. I already played it, by the way. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and load up some double. You see how quick everything is? Like the video is like immediately there now. You feel me? Do you feel me, boys and girls? Alright, so we're just going to play up some 007. I do have my cookies in my oven, by the way, so hurry up. Better fast forward. No. Hurry up, bruh. This is like the worst part of the old games. You gotta wait for everything. All the load screen and crap. It's one of the benefits I can already and I didn't actually have to change the name of the drive by the way for those of you that do the exact same thing with me I didn't have to change the drive to uh, to uh, whatever E come on baby I hope that's not I hope that's normal is that normal that screen right there I hope I didn't break my monitor Oh, that is nice, crispy. That's got to be 60 FPI. Yep, yeah, you heard my, my cookies are done. And they're going to be burning. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this epic cutscene while I take those out. Oh my god, game bar. Get out of here, dude. I hate this. Because you have to do this with freaking... Alright, I give up. I don't even know. Oh, hey, genius. <laughs> I'm so smart, guys. Look at me. <laughs> this is what you guys asked for, so I'm just saying. I'm right, gonna come here. Go to my setting. All setting. We go in. Let's actually crank it to eight. Why not? Look, an absolute beast. We have a computer that's capable of it now. So, yeah, you see that? Oh, that's so superior. Oh, look at the crispness. What do I do? I don't have audio, so I have no idea. All right, now let's do it again so you guys can tell. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not continue to do this. All right, see, just look at, look right here. Or can I move this? No. All right, you ready? Keep your eye right there, by the way. See how blurry it is now? The camera's blurring it, but it's for me and my eyeball. Actually, hang on. Yeah, see how it's like pixelated? All right, we're gonna crank it to eight. I will say beep as soon as I do it. Ready? Beep. Oh, it takes a minute to load. That's my camera noise, by the way. It is sharp AF. Looking at, whoa there, buddy. Ultra wide. There we go. I'm gonna keep it at, I'm, that looks so nice, dude. That's so sick. All right, we're gonna, what is the button, this one? How did I back out last time? That's everything you guys asked me to like show you this live. I have no idea 
why you want me to uh, watch, wa like why you wanted to watch the like loading and everything. But like I said, the mini PC is just not capable of Xbox and Xbox 360 stuff. And then upscaling PS3 past like, I want to say like 1080p, 1440p. Um, it really depends on the game. So great PC, highly recommend it. I'm definitely not going to include 30 minutes of me messing around figuring this stuff out so peace